Is he okay? I don't know. I came down here this morning about 20 minutes ago to go to the gym and found this. He is not looking too well. He look like he needed exorcism. Hold on. Josh don't ever look like that. Hold on. Mm -mm. You go. Josh. It is Josh, right? Nope. Marcus, sit down. You see, this is how people get killed in scary movies. Just saying. Josh, what are you playing? A simulation of my life. But the screen is... <laughs> Never mind. Um, Josh, are you seeing things that aren't there, Creepy Josh? Nope. That's the point. What are you talking about? Your life is at the brim right now. <laughs> really? It is? How? Well, the job you always wanted for years you had an interview for, which went well, <laughs> and you got to work with Amber, and you're friends with me. What else could possibly go wrong, Josh? Oh, it seems like the world of Josh is just on the up and up, doesn't it? Here, let me tell you what's going on. You know that job that I had the interview for? Yeah, two interviews, by the way. Two of them went great. Yeah, but I'm not qualified for that position. <laughs> Reason's absolutely ridiculous. And you're moving, Chris. Moving. We just got this place. And now you're leaving. And now I'm stuck with him. Oh, yeah. And Amber? <laughs> Amber? Yeah, she just wants to be friends. She was absolutely adamant about that point. When I say I love her, yeah, I love her. She doesn't know that, though. Every day I could sit there and see her smile, reminding me how much I'm not wanted. So, yeah, like the TV. And like my life, I see nothing. Should we get him a Snickers to see him acting like himself? Do you ever stop? Look, that does sound good. I'm thinking about some food soon. <laughs> Josh, do you want to get some food? Are you hungry? Yeah, food should calm the devil. I mean, the depression. Ow! Food would be good right now, Josh. I'm like, Look, damn it, I'm crying. You know what? Let me go change. Yes, Miss Fields? Trevor, can you please come in here? I'll be right in. Good morning, Miss Fields. Here's your morning coffee. Thank you, Trevor. You are very welcome. Can you please tell me what's on the schedule for today? Yes. You have two new case meetings this morning, and at 11.45, Mr. Stepton has scheduled an appointment. Mm, when will this man learn? When you take him for everything he's got. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah. You have uh, lunch with Amber, and you have a meeting at 2 p.m. Other than that, you're clear the rest of the day. Hmm, sounds like a very full day. Mm -hmm. I need to do some research for me. On? Bryce Jackson. Okay. Double check underneath Bryce Jackson hyphenated handles. What exactly am I looking for? I need you to look up details on the Rosenberg versus Lipnick case, Massachusetts, 1979. Oh, going old school, huh? Mm -hmm. You got it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What do you want? Remember 
remember last week I ordered 20 tacos? Yeah. Again. Do you want to double it? Double it. Okay. <laughs> Girl, I feel it. Thanks. All right, I'll get it right away. Okay. Mm. She said that? That's rough. Yeah. The best part is, the best part is, is I've worked so hard so I can work right next to her so that she'd be able to see the kind of person that I actually was and who knows, maybe fall for me. I at least got half my wish. She's there working with me every single day, smiling. You cannot get caught up in all that. These are her wishes. I know that, man. I've already given up trying to chase after her. I've given up on dating completely. Every date I've gone on has ended in a disaster. I mean, I don't even remember the words that are supposed to come out of my mouth at the time. I don't, I, I just don't understand. I will say it's not that bad, but it's not bad. It's not that serious. The tacos are great here, huh? I, mean, I, I like, the asada ones are my favorite too. <laughs> my name's- Ch Can I go home on some side? Okay, um, what is, what's, Ego Hanasema son. Order 66. You must really like these tacos, huh? Oh my gosh, these tacos are like, <laughs> really though. Hey Jose, I'll see you later. I gotta go to work. Not so hard, huh? I thought high school and college was where we were supposed to figure out how to talk to women. See, you on your own with that one, Josh. You know what I mean, man. Talk to people. Get these nerves gone. I swear it's like I'm diseased or something. Or something. What? Josh, some people are just late bloomers. I didn't bloom late. I bloomed just fine. Boom! Now you see, he has completely lost it. We need to help him. Child, only thing you give me off that level of crazy is doing something crazy. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? To let him walk it off while I finish my tacos? Look at me. No, we have to help him change. Boy, I have to. Yes. Uh. Stop! I beg you, Miss Fields. I have a family to feed. Oh, really? Yes. Tell me about yes. them. Well, um, well, there's the oldest one, uh, Jonathan, and um, the young. He plays basketball, and mm -hmm. there's the youngest one, uh, Cecilia. You mean Claudia? Uh, yes, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. The young boy Jonathan, who just won a spelling bee, and your daughter Claudia, who's on the softball team. Uh, baseball, softball, same difference. You said basketball. See, Mr. Stepton, this is where we have our issue. You can't even remember your own children's names. How can I expect you to keep your word on oath? Listen, I've put my entire life into this company and... Please. Take the deal. You have cheated, used, and lied your way to where you are now. The only reason that you are well off is because you have been circling at the teeth of your forefathers' evils and exploits. I'm sorry to say, Mr. Stepton, but you and your vile little work buddies have met your worst nightmare. I'm going to take each and every one of you down. As I told you and your lawyer last week, we will not be stepping down from the case. You may see yourself Please, out. Well, I never. Never? Never ever? It's very hard to believe. <laughs> oh, you must be Amber. Want to take a seat? Miss Fields will be here shortly. <sighs> Sucker? Hello. Hi. <laughs> what circle of hell did he crawl out of? The fourth. Greedy bastard. Thanks so much for coming. Oh, thank you for inviting me. Or having your secretary invite me.
I love your male secretary. Thank you. He's the newest model. You live in the feminist dream you always wanted. With you who's always, take down the patriarchy and kill all men. My feminist <laughs> rants were not just about having a male secretary. And I am taking down the patriarchy. Each Mr. Stepton at a time. I don't say kill all men anymore. You kill some men. I never thought you were a pacifist. I am. The chant was so fun, though. Death, death, to, death to the patriarchy. patriarchy. Strangled by, by the feminine. feminine. Keep, Keep our, our heels and knives sharp so that we can kill all men. Kill all men. Kill, kill some men. Kill some men. Kill some men. Some men. It just doesn't sound the same. It's not. Where are we eating? <sighs> this little sandwich shop. <laughs> I really like their food. It's a Saturday. Do you work every Saturday? When do you rest? Rest? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Guys, guys, is this really necessary? Yes, it's necessary. Chris, what kind of message you getting me into? Rich, you need to work a miracle on this day then. Uh, I'll see what I can do. C could we just, like, do a little... Hush. Now that's a haircut. <laughs> All right, guys, got a new haircut. What's next? Next, clothes. <laughs> Josh, you have so many cute clothes. All these threads. Why don't you wear this stuff? I mean. I do, it's just, maybe y'all can make something out of it, but my fashion sense is, you don't need to pick anything. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. Now, where do we start? With this. Guys, I, I don't like that look. Guys, 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 guys. Introducing Jelance. Ah! This was not in my closet. What in the freaking dress? I'm sorry, I could help myself. Can we keep going now? Can we go? Can we go? After you, madam. Marcus! Yes, 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 and yes to all that. All right, guys, your major points. A new getup, new hairdo, feeling good. In confidence? I have confidence. No, you don't. How so? <sighs> Let me ask you something. When you go and talk to somebody, do you get that little rock in the bottom of your throat? It makes it hard for you to speak? Maybe. Yeah. That's called nerves. You're nervous because you're not confident in yourself. Or not confident in what you're about to say. You're not confident because you're scared. And I hate to break it to you, buddy, but they can smell fear. Seems like you lost your confidence in high school when just about every girl told you no. You know, for whatever reason. But Josh, you gotta get over it, man. Makes sense, man. Then stop being afraid of rejection. That's literally it. If you stop being afraid of rejection, 
you know what they're going to say. There's only one thing they can say. No. Exactly. They say no, you move on. Period. I get it. All right, I get it. Look, guys, thank you very much for today. It was, it was a great time, all right? All right. Let's go have us a spa day. Spa day? Now? No, silly. Mask, wine, and a scary movie. Oh, I'm there. Yo, hey, Marcus. Yeah. Hey, there's a position opening up at our old school. Mm -hmm. And it requires somebody with your special expertise, you know, coding and whatnot. Just check it out. I'll put a good word in for you. Really? Yeah, why not, man? Thank you. Thanks. So about that spot. Lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting me out. Of course. I would take off every Saturday to spend time with you. But every Saturday. All right, cool your jets, have a life. <laughs> What's the best thing on the menu? Currently your hands. <laughs> I really like their peanut butter and jelly sandwich. If I recall, you used to eat an egg salad sandwich for lunch during student body meetings, didn't you? My mom makes the best egg salad. And now that you say that, I think I should text her and ask her to make some. Wait salad. until you've tried the egg salad sandwich here. It's really good. If you say so. <laughs> oh my goodness, do you remember Tommy? Yes, I remember <laughs> Tommy. Why are you laughing? I'm just remembering that time that you, uh, <laughs> you threw your sandwich at him. <laughs> and he had those eggs over his eyes. He looked like a defective superhero. He was defective. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the time! This hour has just flown by! <laughs> Did you have anything else planned for today? Yeah, I was gonna head to a new local gallery. They're hanging new art. Oh, that sounds really interesting. You're more than welcome to come. Pretty sure you're busy. <laughs> you have reached the law office of Kelsey Fields. How may I help you? Hi, Jobber. Can you please move my 2 p.m. to Monday, please? Monday? Miss Fields? Thank you. All right, it should be fun. Okay. <laughs> Miss Fields. So about your appointment. See where they used a hair dryer or something to push the paint while it was wet. I don't even know that people use hair dryers in art. It looks like you sound like you. you know what you're talking about. Yeah. Welcome to Swatches. Jackie? Amber? I didn't even recognize your voice. What are you doing here? I'm the art curator. I haven't seen you in weeks. <clears throat> oh, this is uh, Kelsey. Kelsey, this Pleasure. is Jackie. Pleasure's all mine. This is. You're the art curator here? Part-time. Yeah, she's actually a teacher at the school that I work for, but I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, been teaching there a while. Not really sure if it's my thing. I'm more of on this entrepreneurial path. So do you still work at the school? It's been more than two months. You should have been fired by now. No, I'm not fired. They're uh, letting me teach remedial math during summer school. Well, how did you get so much time off? Don't tell anyone. I figured out how to take maternity leave without being pregnant. How? It's all in the verbiage. It says a pregnancy must ensue. A surrogacy is a pregnancy. I am now the proud mother of two beautiful kids. <laughs> You're joking, right? That's a nice loophole. If I'm a lion, I'm a dying. Still here. And the best part is, They've let me take it sporadically over the past few months, so I still have months to use. Hmm, that's, that's 
about an entrepreneur plan? Oh, I have a lot of big ideas, just need money to fund them. But I don't want to bring too many investors in, you know, keep it organic. Plus, I make a whole lot more money doing a bunch of part-time side gigs than I ever do as a teacher. And I don't have to deal with anyone's parents. If somebody's acting stupid, I can just yell at them directly. It's amazing. Well, anyway, let me get back to work and leave you two alone on your date. <laughs> Enjoy it's, your day. It's not a date. Well, actually, Amber, I was wondering what you're doing Wednesday night. I'd like to take you out to dinner. Well, I'd love to go to dinner, but as friends. I'm not ready to date, but I could use a friend. Who wouldn't want to be a friend, Amber? It would be a pleasure and an honor. And you can teach me more about art. Thank you for being understanding. Of course, I only afford act differently. <laughs> No, Josh. No. Go with confidence. You already know the worst she can say. Watashi no namawe just desu. Japanese? Uh, kind of. But I also heard you speaking really good English this morning. I guess you can. Where'd you learn Japanese? College of all places, actually. Everybody was going to study abroad. They all went to England. I decided to go to Japan. I only stay one semester though, because you know, college football, scholarships. You're gonna need more classes because your pronunciation is just yikes. Well, I am in the market for a new teacher. Would you be interested? I can teach you a thing or two. And how would I sign up for these said uh, Japanese classes? You could just call me. Lay it on. Five, two, three. Two nine four twenty nine zero. Okay. You know, I should probably get back to the office. I got a case to work on. A new case? Mm-hmm. This one just sits a little bit closer to home, though. Part of your nonprofit workload? Although it is LGBTQ, no, because the other requirements of the case just don't meet the organization's requirements. Isn't it your organization? Yes, but integrity is everything, Amber. This community is walking on stilts and the people with machetes are trying to take down all the stability that we've built. Now this one, I'm gonna have to do it my own, pro bono. That's amazing. I'm gonna go home and ignore the stack of papers that I'm supposed to be grading. Give me a hug. guys out, my sister and my friend out together. Yeah, Kelsey invited me to lunch. It was delightful. That was nice. <laughs> nice haircut, bro. Look at you, looking all snazzy and special. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> you guys had some fun with me today. That's it. Keep it up, you look like a new man. You know what? I feel like a new man. Here, now let me interrupt you too. Um, I've got some Japanese classes I need to sign up for. Is it just me or was he acting weird? I don't know, he always acts weird. <laughs> Where'd you park? R-E-S-P-E-C-T Find out what it means to me R-E is to the E-C-T Take care T-C-B Oh yeah! Little respect Just a little bit oh. What y'all doing? Just having some fun. Wanna join? Suck it to me, 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 suck it to me. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Josh, Josh. Let it go. Ooh.